I'm going to continue this berm. I've already started it somewhat. Dig and berm. I don't want this water going in my lawn anymore. These trees have to come down. They're dead anyway. They raise the grade of the ground. I'm going to make that into a swale. This tree is coming down. It's going to all be swale. And then the water is going to flow into the low spot into the marshy area there. And then I will keep keep building out this berm. It ends there, but I'm going to continue it all the way around there. And then on this side of the berm will be that French drain. So I'm going to build that French drain man style. All wrapped, all that kind of junk. Now, between the garage and that point where the water reaches the marsh area, I only have 20 inches of drop from about the top of my slab to that dirt right there. So that's not a ton. Um, it's something to work with, but it's definitely not going to fix all this. I'm not sure whether I just give up and let this area of my yard go to marsh. Um, I've kind of decided not to give up. There's the culvert there, the bike path, and it crosses over to the creek over there. You can kind of see the bridge railing. That's the creek. So my plan is to put in a sump pit. I'm going to put the sump pit in at the corner of this garage. I got a the French drain that goes around the perimeter of the property has to be about 32 inches deep in order to flow into the sump pit here from the marsh since that's 20 inches lower so minus the 12 for the bottom of the French drain that's about 32 to 36 inches deep at which I'm going to enter the sump pit so French drain man he usually gets a five foot deep pit I bought a six. I'm not sure how much colder Wisconsin is. Hitting, uh, we were hitting negative 20s, 25s, almost 30, pretty regularly this winter. Um, anyway, so I'll just go in the garage here, and I'll show you. Most of my equipment and uh, supplies are in the upper garage all the NDS fittings, all that kind of junk, but I'll just show you what I got going on here. So I don't use the wheelbarrow too often. Usually I'm using the Craftsman trailer, the mower. I got my fabric. I bought the Amazon fabric as before French Drain Man was selling his. And I got a six foot sump pit from Menards, the 24 by 72, but it's actually, it's like, it seems to be almost 27 inches in diameter. So it's gonna hold, I don't know, 140, 160 gallons, something like that. Depends on how big those ribs are. So that's the plan. That pit goes right here. And I'll also take the top of the pit and put a pipe into this trench here with the downspout just in case anything freezes or electricity goes out it's got a way to empty into this trench and down into the culvert then what I'll do here is this is going to be a rock creek bed I'll do about 12 I'll make basically a French drain 12 inches deep but I'll just it's going to be passive it's going to flow into the marsh there I'm not going to make it part of the French drain I don't know if that's right or not the French drain will probably come in at about here and stop so it's just so wet there as far as ejecting the water I think I'm gonna run a pipe over that marsh area there and just have it as a pop-up uh, in the and I'll what I'm gonna do to make it not freeze in the winter I I just don't want to go five foot deep the whole way I don't feel comfortable doing that as far as my skill and time I'm just gonna slope it so and I'm not gonna put a check valve on when it pumps out, it's going to flow back into the pit, and I've calculated how much the pipe holds. 
it should be fine. I'll just use a float valve so when it goes on it's going to pump out a lot of water. The other option is to pump it up through here out to the street under the sidewalk. I'd have to be so deep though and I'm not sure if the city would allow me to do that. I got a, a lot of drop here. So the, the driveway drops and then the pit is going to go I'd have to go under that culvert there. I'd be pretty deep if I wanted to stay at five feet. Um, I think I'm going to go into the marsh there. If it keeps raining like this year after year after year, there's just certain parts of my lawn that I am never ever going to be able to mow again, even with this drainage system installed. So anyway, that's where I am now. I'll do a, another submission and video after I get all this lower stuff done. I should be done with the, all the house stuff this weekend if I can work in the rain. But the, this, this garage is going to take through June, I'm sure. But I'm renting the skid steer and the excavator on the same weekend. So hopefully that goes quick. Thanks for watching.